Today on Try This at Home, let's go on an adventure. Hello and welcome to Try This at Home, the show for fledgling gearheads and those who don't want to follow the rules. Today, we're going to talk about chords. More specifically, we're going to talk about the notes and chords and how you can use them to decide what comes next. Recently, I had some time to think about a song I was working on, and I realized that two drastically different chords had a note in common. Because of this, that means you can easily go between these two chords that would otherwise have nothing to do with each other. So, since this was one of the chords that set this train of thought in motion, let's have a look at the C major chord. Everyone's favorite! The three notes in the C major chord are C, E, and G. We'll start with C. With C as the common note, you can go to C minor, C augmented, C diminished, A flat major, A minor, A flat augmented, A diminished, F major, F minor, E augmented, and F sharp diminished. With E as the common note, you can go to E major, E minor, E augmented, E diminished, C sharp minor, C augmented, C sharp diminished, A major, A minor, A flat augmented, and A sharp diminished. With G as the common note, you can go to G major, G minor, G augmented, G diminished, E flat major, E minor, E flat augmented, E diminished, C minor, B augmented, and C sharp diminished. So there you go. All the possible options and where to go from a plain old ordinary C major chord, strictly based on the fact that they all have at least one note in common. By my count, that's 29 different chords. And these were just strictly triads. If you add the seventh, a host of new possibilities emerge. Of course, a lot of the augmented chords are basically identical, because that's how augmented chords wind up working. Also, of course, when you go to that next chord, you will have 29 chord options from there, based strictly on common notes. The point of this video is twofold. One, that there are way more chord options at your disposal than the seven that are strictly in the key you're in. Two, that hearing these options will give you a sort of spark in your own writing. Give them a try. And that's gonna do it for this episode of Try This At Home. If you have any questions or suggestions on future episodes, feel free to leave them in the comments section. If you like what you saw, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>